This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2004 Ford F-250 short bed crew cab. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. Um, it's a Lariat, which is leather, and it's an FX4 off-road suspension, which is Rancho suspension installed at the Ford factory. This truck has 139,340 miles. It is on a clear title. We bought it from a uh, dealer in Anaheim, California. Uh, they have a hard time, most, pe most places actually nowadays have a hard time, not impossible, but a hard time getting financing for their uh, used car buyers when the vehicle has over 10 years or, or uh, 100,000 miles. This one's both, uh, but it's a hell of a nice truck and that's why we bought it. So anyway, we brought it here, um, do our inspection, this is what the inspection looks like, blah, 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 not much going on here, but uh, we did do the front brake pads. And both taillights had cracks, so they're replaced. Um, this truck has no catalytic converter. If you're a diesel person, you know exactly why. Um, but uh, please um, know that in Arizona, if you're an Arizona buyer, it's mandatory to get a cat. And we will put it on for $375. That'll be part of the deal if you're an Arizona buyer. If you want us to do it before it ships out or before you drive it home because your laws require it, let us know and uh, we'll get on it um, and we'll get that done but just add 375. Uh, the reason we don't do it on every vehicle is because we send these things all over the world and you know in Bolivia they don't need one <laughs> and so you know and if we're selling it to someone in Bolivia that doesn't need one it's kind of stupid it's 375 down the drain right um, we've sent them to Germany to American Samoa to Tortola and Caribbean they go all over the place so that's why we let people have the option and tell them it's 375. That is our cost. There's no profit in that at all. If you want to look that up and you know look up the labor and the uh, actual new catalytic converter, um, you're welcome to. We have a cattle killer on the front of this thing. This grill guard. It, this grill guard obviously will uh, affect the airbag performance. So please realize that that's on there. If you want to make sure the airbags come out, if you get in a wreck, take that off. Uh, it's obviously going to have something to do with what happens to the front end of this truck and whether or not airbags come out. Obviously, you're going to have to probably hit a little bit harder, huh? It's got a nice set of tires on it. They're Kumos, too. They're Kumos. They're uh, 305 uh, 7016s. They're LT 305 7016s. So they are load rated. I'll show you the undercarriage of the truck here. There will be pictures of the undercarriage as well. And there'll be probably somewhere between 60 and 80 HD pictures. In that gallery, you will have the ability to click on a little magnifying glass, which will allow you to zoom in on anything that you see that's of interest cosmetically. Um, if you zoom in, it's like putting your face like an inch away from the truck. The only thing I see on this thing cosmetically is right here on the tailgate, which is always what it is on a truck. A little touch of paint would make that go away. Um, but there's a little push indent right there. Okay. Uh, the point of my videos is not to sell the truck, by the way. The point of the videos is to uh, give you a bunch of information so that the right person buys the truck. We know we're going to sell it. We know what we're going to sell it for because we sold them a million times. Um, what we don't know is who we're going to sell it to. And if we sell it to an idiot or a jerk or an uninformed person who doesn't, shouldn't be buying diesel, then we've got a problem. So the best thing we can do for us and for you is to make sure that you've got all the information and not some of it. A little bit of fading on these. That'd be California. California, Arizona, that was probably the sun side in his garage or in his carport. All right, let's see. I'm gonna open this thing up. I'm going to reach into my pocket because I'm prepared, right? Get the keys out for you. There they are. All right, thought I had the keys in my other pocket. There we go.
All right, what do we have here? We have 139,348 miles. People ask for Kelly, so we give them. It's a Lariat short bed, 139,000 miles. Suggested retail price in this would be $17,018. That's the equipment that we booked it in with. Right there. Okay. Carfax, people want that too. All right. Here's your Carfax, there's the VIN. No accident damage. Put the book value, add a good ad for the uh, good Carfax. Carfax says sell this thing for $17,748. And they have a very large pool of evidence to draw from, so that's probably a really good number. That so it was Oklahoma. It was Oklahoma, and then it ended up in California. There you go. Okay. Let's see. That is that. I'll leave that here. I'm gonna open up the hood. What we're looking for under the hood, I'm going to take the oil cap off and look for blow-by, which is smoke out of the oil. A little bit's normal. Uh, a lot is not good. And we're also looking for VIN stamps. You want to see a VIN stamp right there, and you want to see a VIN stamp right there, which is there, Ford and Ford. That tells you the parts haven't been uh, replaced. That is excellent. That is better than excellent usually you got a little bit that had none um there's your ford stamp right between my finger and thumb there and there's another th ford stamp right there so the front end is original all right now there's your passenger rear window up and down everything's fine there there's no surprises there. It's not. This is a nice truck. A really nice truck. Okay. Lock the sun here. There's your uh, heated seat on and off. Back, forward, up. Down, rear seat back, down I mean, and up, front seat up, and down, so the power seat works fine. We did do a little repair here, I can see right from here to here, it's pretty normal in the bolsters. I think there's one on the driver's side too. They kind of, that's kind of a habit they have, they like to tear on the very edge of the bolsters, on lariats. Alright. Oh, forgot that door. That's a driver rear door. And we've already seen the rear seat. Driver window, passenger window, driver rear, or passenger rear window, driver rear window. Mirrors, out, in, up, down, other side, out, in, up, down, door locks. There's your door locks. Heated seat. Seat back. Seat forward. Seat up. Down. Tilt up. Tilt down. Rear tilt up. And down. Our mobile guy made repaired a tear right here. And from like right here to here. Let's see, what else we got? We got a tilt wheel. That works fine. All right. Got 15 minutes to do this, and I'm behind schedule. So, get a seatbelt on. All right. Let me get the seat tilted the right way. Here we go. All right. Boom. Toe on and off. On, off. Air conditioning. Turn it on first, right? All right. Nice. And there we go. A 
That feels actually pretty good. It's a little warm in here. All right, turn that down so you can hear me. Let's see, radio. Radio works fine. Six disc changer. Boom. All right, you put it in neutral. I'm going to put it into four low. We are in four low now. Drive. Reverse. Boy, this is a tight little truck right here, boy. Someone took really good care of this truck. Four high. Drive. And reverse in four high. Boom. Perfect. Neutral. Back to two-wheel drive. Let me tilt this wheel down a little bit more. There we go. All right. All right, if you come to Tucson and drive at home, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Dock fee is $250. Taxes are 2% city tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state, for instance, is 5%, you'll pay 7 If it's uh, Alaska, which is 0 you'll pay 2 Just add 2% to your state tax, and you'll know what you're paying, and then add a $250 dock fee if you're going to drive at home. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed-upon price, and that's it. Um... No tax, no dock fees. Once we receive the wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or company's name and address, sign it off, notarize it, um, scan it in your online file, and it'll be yours, okay? Um, we'll uh, mail it to you. Even the, even the uh, uh, envelope that we mail the title to you in will be scanned in your online file. There are uh, tons of information in our ad, so please look through all of it. Um, once you Obviously, once you get your mail, you'll probably get your mail before the truck if you're shipping. Um, but once you have your truck shipped to you, uh, you'll just take them both down to motor vehicles yourself and get it done. Uh, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we receive a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it is for sale. Uh, warranty speech. 139,000 mile, 12 year old truck. There is no warranty. Okay. This is, uh, this is a very nice truck. We know that it's a nice truck, but we don't know what's going to happen to it tomorrow. When you buy something used, there's risk involved. We take on risk every time we buy something because we buy them with no information, okay? Um, and that's what earns us a little bit of a living is uh, taking that risk. Well, you're earning your savings by taking a little bit of risk too, okay? And the risk is you're not buying a brand new truck, so who knows, okay? Uh, we give you tons of information, show you the blow-by, tell you everything we know, Carfax, Kelly's, everything, everything's in there for a reason so that you can make a good decision. If you don't know anything about diesel trucks, please ask somebody. Uh, six O's, their bugaboo is the EGR. This one was really well taken care of and it's got no blow by, so it probably doesn't have, we'll probably never have a problem with it, but we do offer for $2,400 in our ads, just to our buyers, not to people who come in off the street with their trucks, but just to our buyers before they leave our property. If you bought it a year from now, you cannot come back and get it for $2,400. We do a bulletproof EGR cooler with a Ford oil cooler and a new IPR. That includes all the gaskets and fluids and everything. Um, then that problem is taken care of. Now, I would not suggest doing that with this truck, but if you want to be 100% sure, it's a pretty cheap way of doing In fact, it's about half of what everyone else would charge. Well, a little more than half of what everyone else would charge. They're going, cheap shops are doing it for four grand. Expensive ones are doing it for 6,500 or more. So it's a smoking deal, okay? But uh, I wouldn't do it. I would just keep changing the oil, take really good care of it, and it'll go forever, and you'll be fine. Um, what else? So basically what we're saying is if it gets to your house and it needs an injector, you're going to go buy an injector. Don't call us for a check because we're not writing one, okay? It's as simple as that. Um, every now and then we'll get somebody who doesn't listen to the video, and they want to check for something that broke on a truck that they bought three years from now, for three years ago. And it's just stupid. <laughs> so if, you, if you're nervous, if you don't know anything about diesel, if you're, uh, you know, uh, if, you're, if you're a little nuts or whatever, please don't buy anything from us, especially this truck. This is a really nice truck, but we're not Nostradamus. We don't know what's going to happen to it tomorrow. We know what we have today, and we just want the right person in it. It's a sweet truck, uh, you know. Anyway. That is it. Uh, please go through all the pictures and check out all the information that we provide and have a great week.